We're Danish and why? Yeah. Oh, um, Vepper. 308 Vepper. Order from Center Fire Systems. I fell for the bait. I fell for the, the hysteria and I ordered a Vepper. Let's see what it looks like. Never had one before, so. From Molot. Let's see if it's nice. See if it's what I expect. Let's see if it's. Something less. Not this way. Oil paper, which is a good sign. Oh, that thing is pan, man. Look at that. It's got some nice wood. It's supposed to be 308. Let's pull this thing off. 20 inch barrel. Oh, you know, but they do the same old stuff like they do all the time. They make it for right-handers. I can shoot it lefty, but you don't get the you don't get the cheek weld like you do for the for the right-hand folks. But eh, it's not much different. But anyway, that's a lightweight uh, that's a lightweight gun for um, a 308. So this should be fun if we get to shoot it. Um, Looks like we got a couple of. Hey, Spence. Uh, looks like we got a couple magazines with it. Probably a five and a ten. Polymer mags. That's what it looks like—a five and a ten. So, at least um, the vendor didn't uh, cheap out on us and steal one of the magazines. Not that they would or anything, but that happens a lot in the gun world. Um, nice manual, Molot. <laughs> Roshi. Let's see here. What we got? Is a sticker? No. It's a centerfold. Mm. Cool. If anybody else out there has got some good experience with these, let me know. Or some good sources for uh, accessories. But um, I'm looking forward to a, a cleaning rod. I'm looking forward to busting some caps with it and see what happens. Get the real muzzle brake for it. No. No. Cool. Very good. Is it glued on? Oh, it's pinned on. I will take care of that. But anyways, stay tuned.